Hi guys! Welcome to my new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this one. It's my own design and I gave it the name Sarabande 2. I'm not quite sure why I chose this name. It's not too similar. I will show you. Let me show you how looks the original Sarabande bracelet. This is Sarabande and this is Sarabande 2. Just the steps I used reminded me of it, so I just chose Sarabande name and made it uh, like second level or second version of Sarabande. It's quite similar because both are two-step bracelets and they are uh, quite similar in technique, even though the appearance is not very similar. I will also show you the Sarabande 3 bracelet, if you will. Here. This is Sarabande 3. Again, a little bit similar. The technique is quite similar. And uh, I just think these three are like if relatives. So that's why I chose this name. So let's come back to Sarabande 2. I really loved how these little loops inside the braid came out uh, in limited edition bands. It's quite pretty and it's also very pretty when you use flat bands in very contrasting colors. I love to use these two green and black together because they are contrasting, they are flat and they are double layered and uh, bracelets of this kind look always very pretty. I tried this bracelet also in thick gold mix bands. Here I'm not very happy with but when I posted on Instagram I got a lot of fans of this color combo. So this is how it looks in thick bands. And the last rendition I have is when I tried to uh, bling it. I added beads to these big loops, to these, to these. I thought it might look interesting with beads, but actually the beads totally changed the appearance and I would never guess this is our Bande 2 bracelet. This is how it should look like. This is, this is the original version and this is when, uh, what I saw when I created it for the first time. These others are just variations. So let me show you the card. This is the catalog card for this bracelet. It's very easy. So the sequence is between these two stars and it is based on five loops. You pull a band under four and reclaim the band number one and then you just add one more band on the left side. That's it. After this you turn the hook around and do the same from the other side, preferably with the other colors, but that's totally up to you. You just pull under four, reclaim the band number one, close it and then add one more band by pulling under two and reclaiming the band number one and close. That's it. But uh, the first sequence looks a little different because it doesn't look well if you just put directly five loops on your hook and then start doing these sequences. There is a big bump and I didn't like it. So this is how I did it in a neat way. You have a cab band, pull one through and reclaim the band number one so that you have three loops on your hook. And you just add one more on the left side and one more on the left side in the row number three. So in row number two you pull a band under two, reclaim the band number one and close and here you do the same. Just pull under two, reclaim the band number one and close. So you have five and then you start the sequence. Pull under four, reclaim, pull under two, reclaim, then turn around and do everything from the other side. So let's try it. I will use
these black bands and Persian whites because they are contrasting and you will see how the pattern will be developing. So I'll start with blacks. I make a cup band. I pull one band through the cup band and reclaim the band number one like this. Band number one and close. The first sequence is fiddly so be patient. Pull it, put your finger on it so that it doesn't fall apart. Row number two. Pull band under two and reclaim the band number one. Like this. So I pull band number two, the under two, sorry. Oops, and it's already falling apart so I need to be careful here. Because the band number one is this one. I, I caught it. So I pick it up and close. Now I have four loops on my hook. And then I pull a band under two and I pick up the band number one and close. So that's the beginning. Now I have five loops on my hook and I'm here. First I need to turn the hook around. This arrow indicates turning the hook around. So I do like this and now I take another color, pull under four, like this, and I pick up just the band number one, then close, and I take another band and pull it under two, and pick up the band number one. So I have ended up with five. And now I turn the hook around and repeat it again. So I pull under four. I pick up just the band number one and close. And then in second step, I just take band, pull under two and reclaim band number one and close. So I have five again. And then I repeat the sequence from the other side. Again I take a band, pull under four, pick up just the band number one and close. And then pull under two and close. That's it. You can see these cute little loops inside are already showing. Let me show you one more sequence, then I show you how to close it off. So then I take a band, pull under four, and I only pick up the band number one, which is this black sticking out. And this next step. I pull a band under two and then close. That's it. This is Sarabanda 2 bracelet. You can, if you want, play with uh, the color sequences. I tried quite many, but I still consider this bracelet the best in two contrasting colors, one from the one side and the other one from the other side. To me the pattern just looks the best in two colors, in two contrasting colors. If you want to finish the bracelet, you just take a band, pull it through all five loops and close it off and here you put a C-clip on. It's pretty and neat if you do it in this simple way. Alright, so this is Sarabanda 2. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, I will be very pleased if you uh, tag me to your renditions to let me see your work. And if you post your pictures, please don't forget to hashtag the name of the bracelet and me as the designer. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.